This is Jeremy Tessmer with SGTV, and I am exceedingly grateful to be able to announce the second phase of our exhibition, The Art of Santa Barbara, 1875 to 2016. This part of the exhibition will look more at the artists of the last 30 years or so who have persisted in making work that is abstract or conceptual. Many have taught, or curated, or made public art in order to maintain their practice. To longtime observers of the local contemporary art scene, these are the usual suspects. To me, they nurture traditions that are as important to the history of Santa Barbara as plein air landscape painting. It begins with the collages of the great and quiet William Dole, who taught at UCSB, and who helped to develop a long-lived local interest in abstract collage. Undoubtedly, his influence can be felt in the collaged elements of Mary Hebner, and in the typographic interest of Tony Askew. I feel his gentle presence, too, in Doug Yusaka's light touch. Doug's smaller scale work, like Dole's, seem to create expansive spaces out of small objects. Collage and assemblage are important traditions around here, but they are often relegated to second-class citizenship. I'm not sure why. Our community's first assemblage artist, John Bernhardt, arrived in 1959 and began making art out of found objects that same year. Artists like Ron Robertson have carried the banner since the mid-60s. Now 89, Ron's history connects him to Robert Rauschenberg and Cy Twombly at Black Mountain College. Here, he taught at UCSB, at the Santa Barbara Art Institute, and at Santa Barbara City College. Assemblage was perhaps most widely disseminated locally, however, through Tony Askew, who taught at Santa Barbara High and at Westmont. Ron Robertson, Tony Askew, and Doug Usaka represent excellence in this field. But of course, our community is rich with assemblers. Phil Copland comes to mind, though for this show, I selected a monotype and a painting with collage. Rafael Perea de la Cabada also uses collage in these surreal paintings, called Love is a Rabbit Hole. Printmaking, which involves the making of monotypes, is also very significant in Santa Barbara. UCSB has a very old program, and Westmont also has a substantial program. This is to say nothing of the Richard Tullis Atelier, which invited art world titans to town to make work for many years. Printmaking is perhaps best represented here by Marie Sheff and her husband Dane Goodman, but I always recommend the Santa Barbara Printmaker Show to new collectors. Goodman, in turn, is associated with Keith Puccinelli, a longtime buddy and collaborator. They are the merry pranksters, but it is the serious kind of funny we find in Marcel Duchamp's armory show Urinal. This piece is called Daydreamer, which seems a very appropriate theme for Santa Barbarans. Puccinelli, in turn, is good buddies with Joan Tanner, the doyenne of conceptual sculpture and oh-so-coy paintings and drawings like this one. What does it all mean? It means we are meant to be left in wonder. Colin Gray, another sculptor-turned-drawer, is more overt. This series of flow drawings seem to begin as works about oil, but their possible meanings have multiplied over the years he's made them. Julia Ford's sculptures are less overt, but equally morphological. The shapes change, but the vocabulary remains consistent. Tangles and twists and twirls. Not everyone in this exhibition is totally abstract. The Westmont teacher Susan Savage will be showing this startlingly realist still life of apples. Though it is interesting to be sure that she and Marie Sheff use much the same language to describe both the meditative quality of their approach and their relationship to nature. The exhibition is rounded out with a final, stunning, and especially commissioned piece by the architect artist Jeff Shelton. Perhaps no other artist in the exhibition better exemplifies my theory that we are living in the second golden age of Santa Barbara. I might also add that this tile work has done a lot to introduce abstraction into the visual vocabulary of our city. Phase 2 of The Art of Santa Barbara will be on view through December 18th. Come see it.